What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Boston Clinic. Early morning grind. Y'all know what it is. And we here. Um, and um, Adrian Broner, you know, we talked about it uh, earlier this morning. Uh, said they coming down to 140. Anybody can get it. They want to come see him. Come to 140. And uh, Regis Progress, the um, rising 140-pounder out of uh, New Orleans, not uh, fighting out of Houston, um, you know, then, you know, said everybody tagged him in it. He said, if you know, after you get this belt in this unofficial WBC uh, title, Eliminators, he defended versus Adrian Broner. You know, he said, you know, 140 about to be my division. I'm going to take it over. And if you want a shot at the belt, we can do it in New Orleans. I had a whole city popping. Par- paraphrasing, but that's pretty much what he said and how he said it. And I'm going to leave that interview, uh, you know, from ES News. Shout out to Ellie Stegback um, in the description. Right along if you want to donate, I appreciate it. Got a lot of things going. Don't forget about the live boxing show going down this weekend. The new tech page, check it out. Just show how to get rid of Netflix and get something better and cut the cost of cable. Just get rid of it all together. And uh, don't forget about we got the Facebook page. Hit the link on there. But um, what's so funny about it is I remember when Adrian Broner was fighting Mikey Garcia. And, um, you know, Adrian Broner's brother, his twin brother, was talking to Regis Progress. And said he was doing real good. And he told Progress told him his record said he was doing real good. And they was vibing, man. It was a real good vibe. And um, you know, now he you know, called all Adrian Broner. It's a perfect step up for people to know who he is. But first he gotta be postal and then the winner of mine and Jose Ramirez. And uh, apparently he, he think hundred forty pound division he is. You know, he think he gonna get all the belts. I believe Josh Taylor's the best fighter there, and I told Regis Progress that, you know. I told him that it's on the internet. I was like, yeah, you know, we went back and forth. And, um, I mean, you know, I'm pulling for the brother. If he beat Josh Taylor, I wouldn't be mad. You know, I just think Josh Taylor is, uh, you know, a different animal. But the thing about Josh Taylor is he don't have that many fights. So he's not ranked that high in a lot of sanctioning belt bodies. He only had like 10, 11 fights when he beat O'Hurry Davis. And then I think he had, what, 12 fights, 13 fights when he beat Miguel Vasquez. First got to stop him, so... But um, progress is, you know, as far as, you know, you know, the meat of it, fights and all that, he's ahead. But, um, you know, it's a good fight. You know, I don't think Adrian Broner's going to answer that door knock. I mean, he's not going to, I'm not going to say he's ducking him, but I don't think he's going to go that route. I think he's going to go the WBO route, easier route, quicker route. Like, realistically, man, like Postal might not get that WBC title. Until the end of this year or next year. Because he's entering a purse bill with top rank right now. And we know how Al Hammond and top rank don't work together. And then if Jose Ramirez beats Amir Mom, R17, then he enter another purse bill with top rank once again. And uh, he, don't, he he might as well, you know, he still don't have a fight for the Victor Postal date. So this could be a lengthy string out, man. So uh, he might not, you know, be able to get a title till next year or defend it until next year if he beats all those guys. Which is not the biggest stretch, but I believe he's the favorite. But you never know. Um, you know, I don't think Adrian Broner is even paying him no attention. You know, he he they got a plan for him. He knows the plan. That's why he came out and said that he's going to be world champion in 2018. So I mean, progress will be a bad fight for him. He's in the same class as um, another Texas guy, and Omar Figueroa. He Broner needs to stay clear though. Them guys is who them guys punching volume, and they reckless abandonment. You know, they would probably break Broner down. You know, unless Broner learns how to you know deal with pressure and, and and throw with volume back, which I don't believe. See, I don't believe that's gonna happen at this point in his career. Um, you know, I don't think he I don't think he want to go to the progress route. But if he if he does, it's gonna be after getting the title and then unifying it with him because wherever he go in this division. Even with Terrence Crawford going, I think it's a more dangerous division now than when Crawford was there. I mean, I think Postal, I mean, not Postal, I think Progress is real good. Um, I think Hooker is decent. I think Flanagan is decent. Um, you know, Sergey Lipinis is another guy. He can go for that title. We failed to mention him yesterday. Or the Mikey, if Mikey Garcia gets that title, I don't think Mikey and Adrian is going to rematch anyway. Um, you know, so it's a, it's a dangerous division, man. With Josh Taylor, I'm trying to tell guys. To get on that wave before you know it get the it get the uh, some momentum because Josh Taylor is 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 the absolute truth at boxing man, 
It's just a lot of people ain't seen him, and they like, oh, no, he can't. I'm trying to tell you he beat all these guys. Well, right now, with 12 fights, I believe he beat all these guys. You know, that's just my honest God opinion on that. But Pro Gates and Broner, I mean, make it happen. You know, I don't think Broner, I mean, going to New Orleans, open up that market, that'd be nice. I remember they uh, won the Floyd to fight at the Superdome when they wanted him to do that world tour. 150 was trying to get him to get away from Al Heyman. And they wanted him to fight at the uh, Superdome, so... You know, Adrian Broner and Superdome, why not? You know, hometown kid, Progress. But uh, Progress will ba probably break Broner at this point in his career. Um, probably rip his face off. And, uh, you know, Broner probably knows that if he knows who, he's, who he is. But Broner ain't never been fair, scared of no challenge in boxing. I'll give him that. But let me know what y'all think. We go.